Non, 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 non. Uh, hi, I wanted to tell you about uh, my recent adventure in finding the limits of compilers using templates. I was creating a tool uh, generating coverage reports in C++, of course, and one of the things I wanted to have uh, was highlighting the source code. Normally, this is done by JavaScript in, uh, on the uh, client side, but in this instance, I wanted the resulting files uh, to be static. I wanted C++ highlighter written in C++, only a color and start, start and stop indexes to avoid copying source code around, fast, as fast as possible, maybe even faster, like build me my parse method at compile time fast. For this to happen, I needed to implement some parts of a few chapters of the standard, and that's all. At the beginning, I thought Boost Spirit, uh, with its static polymorphism, was tailor-made to uh, build these parsers, and as a bonus, and the code I wrote looked almost exactly like the original rules. And then I thought to myself, this is a great learning opportunity. If I also write the templates, I could see how all this works together. I can, for instance, try to context for all the things and see where this leads me. So instead of using Boost uh, Spirit as provided by Boost, I made a simplified version of X3 and started to write things like this, uh, where the actions in the square brackets uh, get the spans from the grammars and register uh, color categories with those spans. Uh, this is the same thing you would write uh, in spirit with the exception of the context, uh, hello, with the context at the beginning. Now if I stop at this moment and think, I would probably be a little worried because the type name, the type name of the header name is either 456 characters when compiled with Microsoft or 218 uh, when Intel, uh, in, where Intanium ABI is used. Just for a rule describing header name. By the time I uh, arrived at control line, Visual Studio 2017 uh, compiler decided that starting with control line, nothing is worth being uh, context and rejected every declaration from this point onward. So I hit a wall and needed to change something to make the compiler accept my code again. Since it suddenly stopped uh, seeing grammar expressions as context, I tried to simplify things with two tricks. One was putting the grammar inside the class as a const expression static member and writing the parse method as a proxy to that grammar. The other was to wrap, wrap a template around the lambda and use the static variable to hide the complicated bits. Much later, I tried the original code with Visual Studio 2019, and it just compiled. So what did I get from all this ruckus? With original code, working compilers took a noticeable time to compile this file alone. Unfortunately, Visual Studio 2017 uh, produced nothing, and it took one minute to get there. Uh, after writing a specialized class uh, for the control line, Visual Studio 2017 started working, taking only half as long as when it didn't. The other compilers just went on. After hiding control line and handful of other grammars inside lambdas, uh, the other compilers almost didn't notice the change, and uh, Visual Studio 2017 on my machine uh, cut another nine seconds. A quick side note. During all of this time, Itanium, Itanium ABI, due to its nature, produced the shortest uh, symbol names, which means, for instance, only just slightly above 2,000 characters for the top-level grammar uh, in the expression-only approach, which this also short name, when expanded, for instance, through C++ filter, produced just 300,000 characters. Imagine a compilation issue with an error or two with a type like that. So, what I learned from all of this. Static polymorphism is cool, but like everything else, it's not without a price. With enough template programming, it's unexpectedly easy to uh, test boundaries of your compiler. Uh, if you happen to trip your compiler, there are probably ways to work around it. And finally, when you start fixating about singular bad thing, don't forget, forget about the rest of your project, because while I obsessed over the size of the symbol names, the object size of the top-level grammar turned out to be more than 50 kilos, 65 in Microsoft, 90 in GCC. Thank you. <laughs>